You're listening to PetLifeRadio.com. You're planning a vacation, an escape from the day-to-day routine of everyday life. You're looking forward to getting pampered in some sunbathed tropical island getaway, surrounded by cool, balmy breezes with the soothing, relaxing sounds of calypso music playing distantly in the warm island air. Doesn't it sound wonderful? Well, don't leave your pets at home. They want to go too. Welcome to Travel Tales, the show where you'll get great travel ideas on perfect places for you and your pet. From Paris to paradise, south of the border to the South Seas, Travel Tales will give you cool tips on fun vacation destinations to travel with your pet, pet-friendly hotels, and advice on how to travel safely and happily with your furry best friends. So get ready to pack the bags and the bones with your Travel Tales host, Janine Franceschi. Hi, welcome to Travel Tales for Pet Life Radio. This is Janine Franceschi, and I'm your host this morning. I'm the owner of PAW, Pet Friendly Accommodations Worldwide, and that's online at www.luxurypaw.com. And together with my Irish setter, Bo, we uh, travel all over the country and we review luxury, pet-friendly hotels and make the reviews available for you on our website. And you can also book your hotel directly from the PAW website. So um, this afternoon, we are going to be speaking with Susan Hartzler, which I am thrilled to have Susan here to talk with us. She is the president and owner of Alpha Dog Public Relations out in Los Angeles. And having Susan is like having 10 guests on all rolled into one because she represents so many um, really interesting pet-related companies in the travel and tourism and hospitality industries. And so I can't wait to talk with her. So please stick around. We'll be right back after this break and mention from our sponsors. Attention passengers, please fasten your seatbelts, put your seat bags and sleeping pets in their full upright position and prepare for takeoff. Travel Tales will be zooming back with more great travel tips right after this. Hey, ready to take a walk? Not just you, but the whole family. It's the 2009 Whisker Walk, Sunday, June 7th from 11 to 3 at the Lancaster Fairground in Lancaster, Massachusetts. Pet owners and animal lovers walk to lend a paw to benefit the animal shelters and pet charities they love. Come see exhibits, demonstrations, educational programs, special attractions, product giveaways, entertainment, auctions, raffles, food, fun, and things for adults and kids to see, do, and buy, both human and pet related. Whisker Walk 2009, a fun day for everyone. For more information, log on to whiskerwalk.org. Ladies and gentlemen, Pet Life Radio proudly presents DSPN, the Dog Sports and Performance Network. Get ready to unleash the dog sports enthusiast in all of us. From speed drawing and mushing to racing, agility, and competition, this is the place to learn all about the dog sports and activities that you can do with your furry best friend and canine competitor. So get ready for game time. DSPN with your host, Lori Williams. Every week, on demand. Only on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Attention passengers, we are now approaching our final destination. The weather is sunny and warm. Ocean temperature is a balmy 80 degrees for those of you wishing to doggy paddle. Please exit to the front and see our activities directors on your way out. Have a pleasant stay. This is Janine Franceschi, and uh, today I am thrilled to be speaking with Susan Hartzler. And as I mentioned in our introduction, Susan is like having 10 guests all rolled into one. I'm so excited because Susan represents so many different uh, pet-related companies in the travel and hospitality industry. Susan, are you there? I'm here. Hi, welcome. Thanks. Very welcome. So Susan's been, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just reading a little bit of your bio here, um, in public relations for about 28 years. Uh-huh. And uh, prior to opening Alpha Dog, you represented four and five star resorts, such as St. Andrews in Scotland, which is amazing, um, the Post Ranch Inn and Big Sur. So m- most of those, were they pet friendly or was that something you introduced? Or No, most of them were not pet friendly, actually. Okay. Um, 
And so that's why I opened up Alpha Dog PR, because I didn't like traveling without my dogs. <laughs> exactly. Well, start at the beginning at the beginning and tell us about your dogs. You have two dogs, right? Yeah. Okay. I have two amazing dogs, Baldwin and Bliss. And Love their um, they're therapy dogs. We visit children in the hospital and the oncology ward. And they're um, Baldwin, who's my older boy. He's a, a Puli, a Hungarian sheep dog. Wow. And um, he was the number one Puli in agility in 2001. Wow. And, yeah. And I never was an athlete before. And he got me into into being an athlete. So we were a team together and How became fantastic. number one in the whole United States. Can That's you incredible. That? Oh, congratulations. I know. I know. That's incredible. So we, we traveled a lot you know, doing agility. So here I was representing four and five star resorts. And then in the dog world, I was staying at Motel 6. Exactly. <laughs> Which is why we created Luxury Paw. <laughs> I know. It was, it was such an interesting life. And then the other thing that he loved to do was sheep herding. So I was, you know, going to these amazing resorts and spas and then going out and um, feeding the sheep hay and, you know, Running You're around. very well-rounded, Susan. <laughs> yes, it was a very interesting. You know, I just one day I would be, you know, at these, you know, James Beard dinners, and the next day I'd be out with the sheep. So I love it. And how yeah, old is Baldwin? Baldwin's nine now. He's going to be ten okay. next month. Wow. So he's retired. He had two ACL surgeries on his knees. Oh. So, but he's doing really well. He's on, you know, glucosamine and. All sorts mm-hmm. of things, and he has massages himself. Oh, good. <laughs> He's doing all and right. That's, that's actually how I got into this industry too, because I spend so much money on um, pet merchandise. I'm just I'm a leash and collar junkie, you know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to figure You're out not a way. Alone. You're not yeah, alone. I had to figure out a way to, to get all the goods and merchandise I love, and not Absolutely. you know break the bank. Exactly. And tell me about Bliss. And Bliss is um, five years old, and my friend who got me into the therapy dog work, her she had the one breeding with her dog, and so I met Bliss the day she was born, the, the minute she was born, and um, she's an amazing dog. She's she's real athletic. She does dock diving, agility, sheep herding, canine freestyle, any anything athletic, she does it, and um, she is beautiful she's absolutely a gorgeous australian shepherd you'll have to email us some pictures so we can put it up on the site for our yeah. listeners to look at that would be great and they're, and they're both actors and models so um, <laughs> she was in on an ad a uh, ralph lauren ad and baldwin was on a, a an mtv show called robin big <laughs> oh i know robin big <laughs> yeah baldwin was on meaty's birthday party <laughs> oh Oh, and fantastic. I just finished a spec script um, that I wrote starring both of them. So I just finished it. I'm, I'm going to get an agent and get it out there. It's sort of a Marley and Me type movie. I love it. Yeah. The so, timing is uh, great. I know. Fantastic. So, yeah. So they've got a lot of, they have a lot of work ahead of them. They do. They do. And you, you travel extensively with them. So now that... You're doing Alpha Dog PR and still traveling with them. Has your level of amenity hotel increased now that um, so many nice hotels are pet friendly? Well, now that Baldwin is retired, he, really his favorite thing to do is go to nice hotels. That's his, <laughs> that's his thing. He and he, Bo would be best friends. <laughs> it's hilarious. He walks into the lobby and he barks like, I'm here. Yep, I'm, I'm exactly. here. Yeah. Bo jumps up and puts his front paws on the uh, reception desk because he knows there's a biscuit yeah. back there somewhere. He knows. Well, Bo, Bo's tall, right? He's very tall. He's all leg. When he does yeah. that, he's taller than I am. <laughs> so it's pretty funny. That's so funny because Baldwin's he's only 25 pounds, so he's small. But he right. has to bark. That's why he has to bark. He's like, I'm here. I'm here. Too funny. And then, you know, then we, when we go in the room, he, you know, jumps up on the bed and checks. He's just like thrilled. Just checks he's it all out. Yeah, very thrilled, and he likes his massages, and he's into it. He is living so, the life. <laughs> yeah, that's his favorite thing. And Bliss, that's you know, they're like uh, Laurel and Hardy or um, Lucy and Ethel or something like oh, that. Baldwin's funny. very, you know, he's he's very respectful and makes sure that everything's 
fine. And Bliss is like, let's rip it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that bed. Let me see that pillow. <laughs> Let's now, go. You, exactly. So you travel with both of them. And do you ever run into any resistance in having two dogs as opposed to one dog? You know what's really funny? I take them everywhere. I take them shopping with me. Yeah, I take too. them. And if people walk up to me and they just assume they're service dogs, what I do is people go, oh, are they you know, seeing eye dog, are they, are you training? I, I'll just say, yes. Yeah, yes, I'm about to have a seizure any moment. <laughs> yes, I'll just, I'll just agree Step with away. whatever anybody asks me, are exactly. they this? I'll just say, right. yes. And That's I fun. think it's an attitude. I, I mean, obviously, I couldn't take them on a plane or anything, but I think it's an attitude. It's kind of like they're very well-trained dogs, for one thing. Yes. I mean, I train them all the time. So they're very, very well-trained dogs, and they are you know, therapy dogs, they have their CGCs and, you know, they're, they're really well behaved dogs, but, um, it's an attitude. I've always taken my dogs everywhere. I just walk in like, yeah. Okay. Like they belong there. Yeah. Absolutely. And so people don't really question it. They just assume that, oh, well, this woman wouldn't be bringing these two. Right. She would, exactly. She must know something I don't. Yeah. So Absolutely. people walk up to me and go, I didn't know that they allowed dogs in here. And I'll go, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Love it. but we always, you know, I always, um, what we found traveling from city to city is that there's a different expectation level in each city. Like in New York, Bo and I can literally walk into every single store on Fifth Ave. As long as he's on his leash, he's very well behaved. You know, people love to see him. He can go into Tiffany's and Bergdorf's and Saks and They don't even bat an eye. But we went to Chicago, and they weren't having it. Did not want Bo in the stores at all. All the same stores. Um, Mm -hmm. So we found that it it really differs from city to city. That's true. um, New York loves their dogs. Loves their dogs. I took Baldwin to New York with me when I was on a business trip, and um, I brought a friend with me because I wasn't going to be, you know, obviously at the meetings. I I needed More pet friendly. (laughs) Yeah. So, um, so this friend would walk him or take him around. And then, you know, when I got back, I would take him. So here I was walking Baldwin down the street on uh, Madison. Mm-hmm. And this woman walks up to me and she goes, I love Baldwin. Oh, like, oh no. my God. He's a, he's a celebrity. A I mean, celebrity. I didn't know who that woman was. <laughs> Absolutely. It's, they, they do. They love their dogs in New York City and not just the small dogs. No, we found yeah. that New York was a big dog city. Everyone had always led me to believe that there were these very small kind of purse puppy. And that's just not true. It's they not were, true at all. Bo was not, you know, out of proportion in, in any way. They were huge dogs. Yeah. And the so, other thing, and this is what I thought too later, I thought what I could have done instead of, you know, paid someone's ticket and paid their room and stuff is um, th- another great tip if anybody wants to take their dog to New York is there's a lot of, um, of daycare centers. Absolutely. And we, we go to New York quite a bit, and so we try to source them out when we're there. And so we have a canine concierge tab on the website for New York, and uh-huh. it lists the pet taxi and different daycare centers and different pet sitters. And, um, you know, we've gotten some great suggestions from New York, uh, different concierge in New York. And so we, we try to list those sources on, on the website. See? But there's always yeah, more than we can than we can find. You know, there's always a million, um, and I'm always running into new ones. So it's it's great. But um, I am so interested in the people and the companies that you represent. I've got kind of six or seven different little windows open here on my on my computer, and so I was just going to ask you about a couple of okay. them. Um, okay. What? Tell me about. Uh, tell everybody about the, the travel network of Kendall, which I just love this concept. She um, puts together special packages for people and their pets. Now, her, and, her name is Elsa Cristobal, is that uh-huh. right? Okay. Yes. And, and um, they're really fun trips that other pet owners, other dog owners will be on with you. So it's a really, really, really cool idea for... And is it um, soup to nuts, you know, airlines and hotels yeah. and, uh-huh. and activities and the whole thing? Yeah. That's fantastic. Um, that's their fantastic. website is www.amazingvacations.net. Is that right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Fantastic. I just love that. I think that's such a great idea. Has she been doing that for a long time, or is it a fairly new? Yeah, this is at least a couple of years. Wow. And, um, and really, in, she researches really interesting trips. So it's, you know, I was on the, the site, and, and this one is Sedona. She's, she's advertising a trip to Sedona, Arizona yeah. now. And, Which and it's great. interesting for both the dog and the owner. So, and the neat thing about it is you're going to meet other people who exactly. you don't know who have the you know have the same interest as you. Absolutely. I mean, this whole pet centric, you know, lifestyle, you know, travel lifestyle, is new to people, and we try to introduce that as often as possible. And and people just don't know that these things are out there. And I just think that's fantastic. Yeah. Really, yeah. really great. And um, the other thing is, not only is it trip and you know the whole package airline and hotel and and everything but she's also a range of speakers right this one yeah, had something uh-huh. to do um a pet communicator is that who she has uh-huh. speaking at this one yeah, or, an, or yeah, an intuitive yeah. Yeah. yeah so um really really interesting and then another one that you represent is petrelocation.com and they say that they specialize in the transportation of live animals if you're right. moving but, so, but also if you're yeah, traveling so if, yeah so if you're moving or traveling um, and you, like, let's say you're moving across country mm-hmm. and, um, you, you know, you're moving your home, you're moving your kids, you're moving everything and you can't, um, you know, you're flying across country. Right. Um, and it's just one take, more thing. How do we yeah, move the dog? Maybe you yeah. have three dogs or something. They'll take yes. care of, uh, moving the dog safely. Okay. And, you know, um, that's one less thing that you have to worry about maybe you know maybe you have to get the house situated before you bring the dogs so they'll take care of that whole thing or maybe you have snakes or you know (laughs) an animal that doesn't move easily i mean they'll do all sorts of different animals and they're obviously you do it for uh you know i don't think they'll do it for zoos but you know they'll, they'll do all sorts of animals okay interesting very interesting. And they are www.petrelocation.com. Well, that's fantastic. And then there's a company called Pet Flies. Now, I don't have a, a website for them, but it's they... Petflies.com, F-L-Y-S. F-L-Y-S. Okay. And they do the airline-approved carriers, but it says that they're edgy airline-approved carriers. Oh, so what does that mean? My, this <laughs> is one of my all-time favorite clients. Not to mention that the owner of it has become one of my best friends. Okay. Um, it is these carriers, They first off, all the celebrities have them. Okay. And they've been on um, Ugly Betty. Uh, they, they've they just been the on... The Girls Next Door, Life of the Kardashians. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. They've been on all the shows and what? the celebrities, when they're on the shows, the celebrities say, I want this. You know, they just, they just exactly. take them. So they're really, really cool. They've got like the skulls on them, or the, um, oh, or okay. you know, just really cool hip. designs very on them. Okay. Very, very hip. And they, you know, they fit over your shoulder. They're they're lightweight, but they're substantial. So they're not gonna. Mm-hmm. They're not like those um, serpa bags that fold down on top of the dogs. Exactly. Okay. Which that's what I don't like about those. They mm-hmm. actually, you know. This is a more rigid structure. Yeah, they're a little more rigid. And so the dog feels like it's sort of in a crate, you know, so it feels sort of like, you know, they're they're taken care of. And um, they are just, they're great. Look, They're they're little conversation pieces all in themselves. Yeah, they're really, she's just got, she's got such an eye for style. Fantastic. Oh, that's fun. So that's petflies.com. And then the last one... Let's see. Is the doggy bag is a full body suit? Now tell me about oh this. God. This is a great one. I, <laughs> I think ha- Bo would full on rebellion if I tried to put him in a body suit. <laughs> I am going to send you one. Is it for swimming? This, I mean, Bo is an ocean dog. I mean, he is in. No, the, it's not for swimming. Bag. I don't think he could swim in it. It's actually for the the man who created it. When I saw this at a show, I was like, you, I have to have you as a client. I have to have it? <laughs> the man who created it, created it to keep the hair out of his car. Okay. The dog hair. So what it is, is it's a bag um, that the, your dog steps in, right? Mm-hmm. And so you put, and there's actually place for his feet. 
and then you pull it up over the body and then you zip it over the top, right? Yes. Like over the back. So it fits over the whole thing and the tail goes inside and then the zips and then there's little handles on the what? top. Quiet. I love but, it. Yeah, so you can train your dog to get to, to step in it and it uh-huh. fits over easily. You know, it just you just pull it up and, and it you fits just over. Zip it up? Yeah, and you just zip you know, it up. Is the there uh, some kind of harness attachment or can you like put the seatbelt through the handles or how, how would you secure the handles okay. um, but it's not for safety it's to board to keep the hair off it's to it's keep the hair out of your car okay and um, also like let's say that your dog had some kind of um, surgery on its oh. hind quarters or something okay so instead so, of the cone yeah so oh, there's also great. medical reasons for it um you know, maybe it had its back, or you know, like Baldwin with his ACL surgery, he mm-hmm. could have they, he, he could have worn it. Right. So um, it, the the gentleman's also working on making making them for just like a leg or something like that. I know that so after Baldwin, for an isolated it, area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But right now it's the whole thing. So there is there is some medical um, reasons that you could use it too. And so what do those could, retail for? I mean, what is what does something like that cost? You know, I don't have that right in front of okay. me. Okay. Okay. But um, it's it is just it's fantastic to look at. So the dog can walk around in it too. So like, I let's love- say you want to take him to the beach, you don't want him to get all wet. Exactly. Yeah, there's no. <laughs> that's not going to happen. I was like, I'm swimming in this thing. It's so funny. We, there's a a place where we walk here on Nantucket that brings you out to this precipice of this incredible view and cliff of the ocean and. You know, the second you take that right-hand turn to go to the edge, you're going in the water. And there's just yeah. absolutely no way to keep him out. So we either have to not take that turn or just uh, just know that that's what's going to happen next. It's um, like my Bliss. Bliss is learning to surf. She's going to be in a uh-huh. surfing contest in July. In, so that's in July because the Coronado Bay one in San Diego is in June. Oh, at, a little bit of that, too. Yeah, that one's at um, the Lowe's. Lowe's Coronado Bay, and okay. it's June twentieth, and uh, it's Bo and I are going to try and get there. Okay, so we'll, well maybe we'll, we'll get there too, and we'll meet. Yeah. You. Oh, that would be great. That would be I really know. great. Actually, Susan, can you stick around for a few minutes? I think this is probably yeah, a good time to take to. a break and okay. uh, listen to our sponsors. And please, listeners, stay with us. We'll be right back with Susan Hartzer. Attention passengers, please fasten your seatbelts, put your seat bags and sleeping pets in their full upright position, and prepare for takeoff. Travel Tales will be zooming back with more great travel tips right after this. Greetings, human. What planet am I on? Welcome to Pet Planet. Here's a copy of Pet Planet Magazine, Florida's most informative and fun pet resource magazine. It features heartwarming stories and informative articles from local and national pet experts. And Excellent. Pet Planet Magazine offers Operation Planet Rescue, helping rescued pets find new homes. And it's available at 500 locations in South and Central Florida and 24-7 on the Internet at PetPlanetMagazine.com. If you're out and about with your pet, you may be featured in Paparazzi, candid pictures of you and your pet. For up-to-date pet-friendly events, activities, and pet-related services and products, Pet Planet Magazine is your final destination. I shall take this magazine home with me. Back to your home planet? No. To my condo in Boca. Pet Planet Magazine. Check them out at www.petplanetmagazine.com or 352-394-8578. It's out of this world. Hi, this is Marcy Davis and my service dog, Whistle. And we're your hosts of Working Like Dogs on Pet Life Radio. Working Like Dogs is the show where you can learn everything you ever wanted to know about working animals or working dogs. Whether you're a member of a working dog team or you've just seen a working dog or animal out at the mall or the grocery store and you're curious about how these amazing animals work with their human partners, then Working Like Dogs is the show for you. Join us for the inside scoop at Working Like Dogs on PetLifeRadio.com. Let's Talk Pets on PetLifeRadio.com. Attention passengers, we are now approaching our final destination. 
The weather is sunny and warm. Ocean temperature is a balmy 80 degrees for those of you wishing to doggy paddle. Please exit to the front and see our activities directors on your way out. Have a pleasant stay. Welcome back to Travel Tales on Pet Life Radio. This is Janine Franceschi, your host. And uh, I don't know if you've heard Bo in the background, but he's he's been a little vocal this afternoon. He and I are uh, thrilled to be speaking with Susan Hartzler, the president and owner of Alpha Dog Public Relations. Susan, are you still with us? I'm still with you. Fantastic. And um, we've, we've been learning all about some of the clients you represent and the pet industry and the hospitality industry and how they are you know, melding together. But I want to hear about Bliss and uh, Baldwin's trip to Mexico City and the international... World Dog Games. World Dog Games, exactly. Tell me about this. I am dying to hear about this. Well, um, as I told you before, Baldwin... I know. Baldwin (laughs) and Bliss both do agility. Okay. And they also are um, therapy dogs with children, which is, uh, you know... um, a lot of therapy dogs aren't also um, performance dogs, you know, with especially with agility. Okay. So that's to have performance dogs that are really good with children is not the usual. It's not the norm. norm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, Pedigree Pet Food was looking for a group of, a troop of dogs to bring to Mexico City um, sort of like the ambassadors of dog love, for okay. lack of anything else to call exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. Um, but basically, we weren't competing in the do- the World Dog Games. We were just doing demonstrations there, showing the families and the kids, you know, what it was like to have really well-trained dogs. Okay. So a lot of the dogs in Mexico City are not not well trained they're just strays and I was going to say they're not really even domesticated is that they're, they're yeah. mostly strays right okay yeah. so and so this was a, of, an outreach yeah an educational okay. opportunity fantastic so yeah so so um we were chosen and there was only uh 10 dogs chosen how um, exciting the United States. So, so what was that whole travel experience like? How did you get to Mexico City? How how did Baldwin and Bliss, you know, like the travel? Did they not like the travel? How what all happened there? It was very interesting. Well, first off, they, you know, they went in, in cargo. Okay. And um, you know, international travel is a lot different from domestic. Exactly. Okay. So, you have to get there early. And um, there's all sorts of, you know, you, you have to have a uh, picture and all the information mm-hmm. taped to your crate. And, and was this before the pet passports or? Yeah. Yeah. So it was passports. a little bit more difficult than it is now. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and, you know, it, it was kind of worrisome to have to get there early because you knew the dogs were just going to be sitting there. Exactly. So I think it probably was harder on me than on them because at least I knew there were the, the, a couple of the other dogs were, were, they knew, and I knew that they were going to be with other dogs. So Right. And they um, were each in individual crates. Each in individual crates. Okay. And I knew that they were going to be with each other, too. So they could and see the, one another. Okay. Yeah, and the flight from L.A. was only like a three-hour flight. Okay. But when we got to Mexico City... Um, do you know what they do when the dogs come out of the plane? No, no. They put them on the conveyor belt with the luggage. <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> Bo would go berserk, absolutely berserk. Oh, it's a good thing we didn't know it. Because, oh. you know, those conveyor belts are pretty long, too. Absolutely. So here come the dogs down the conveyor belt in between suitcases. <laughs> Now, I on the little about, on the luggage pickup roundabouts. Uh, yes. Oh, through that the would not have gone over well with me at all. <laughs> no, no, that was our welcome. Plus, we had to like grab them, and some of them were big dogs. Right. We had to like grab. We had to you know fight through the other people waiting for their luggage. And grab my God, I hope them. this. I hope this scene made it into the screenplay because I can just see it. Oh, I mean, it, this it is, was you know looking uh, back, it was funny. Exactly, but. but 
in the oh moment, not so much. And you got to understand, this was the World Dog Game, so the airport was packed with dogs. Oh. I mean, they, we weren't the only dogs coming down the exactly. conveyor belt. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So, and all breeds. I mean, and then we had to wait for hours in line to get through customs. Through customs. Incredible. So that was the worst part because, you know, by then the dogs were, like, kind of freaked out. Exactly. Not even necessarily from the plane ride, from the conveyor. <laughs> from the conveyor. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, and oh, we couldn't so take them out of the yeah. out of the crate, and they're looking right. at us like, "Why can't Let we come me. out?" Absolutely. Oh. And so the worst part was getting through customs. But once okay. we got through customs, we were okay. Um, and then, um, and then we were met by um, our hosts, which were Pedigree, and they were great. And we stayed at a hotel right on um, Revolution Boulevard. Beautiful. And it was nice. But the thing is, they are, it's not necessarily like a really, you know, it's not a pet. It's not a dog-loving society. Right. So it's different. They, yeah. Very different. Yeah. They didn't want us. They had, like, beautiful grass on Revolution Boulevard. But we couldn't take our dogs there because it's named after the president, and we couldn't take our dogs to the bathroom uh-huh. on that grass. Right. So right. they told us we could only go behind the the hotel to the cement. Hello. Well, that doesn't work for a country dog. Let me tell you, Bo. No. I, we we had to walk like thirteen blocks in New York before Bo yeah. would go to the bathroom because. <laughs> Exactly. From Nantucket, you know what does he know? Oh, I know. Was awful. When we were in New York, Baldwin would go in those little little areas, the little the patches. Grass. That's yeah. what we finally, yeah, the, where the trees are. That's what we finally trained him to do. But yeah. first couple of days, and the same thing happened in, to us in New York. We were at uh, the Westin in Times Square, which is a beautiful, beautiful hotel, and they they have a gorgeous pet friendly amenity program. But they couldn't tell you where the closest park was, and they sent us over to Bryant Park, which is a big no-no. The dog isn't even allowed to walk on the grass <laughs> over Bryant Park. So when you check the PAW website, we have strategically located all of the uh, areas around uh, oh, that's Times Square. Smart. So it's, yeah, so it's that's uh, really but it was smart. it was a labor of love. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Trying to find all these places, but oh I know it. Yeah, so there's, there's well, definitely you know, we, pet accepting you know, we and pet friendly. We went over, we went to the grass at like 2 in the morning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because, you know, there's just no way that, you know. But no. once, we got, once we got to the show, it was great because um, we saw 100,000 people a day. And um, there were crowds around us. And we took uh, kids through the agility. Like we did the shows. And then at the end of the shows, we just lined up, um, you know, a few jumps and a tunnel, and we took kids through oh, the fun. agility. And it. It, it was so amazing because we didn't speak Spanish. They didn't speak English. Right. But, you know, dog love is universal. I was going to say, there's, it's, it's a universal. And universal language. Yeah. And with my two dogs, I just have such... You know, I've got Bliss, who's Miss Sporty Spice, and I've got Baldwin, who's just, he's so good with the toddlers. So we kept Baldwin back, and every time there was a toddler, they'd call him over. Oh, and I gave them Spanish names for the trip. Baldwin was Pablo, and Bliss was Dicha. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And they, so they, they got in the mood. Pablo, Pablo, come over. <laughs> because the, all the other dogs were bliss despised. <laughs> and so Pablo so, was the big hit with I'm, the toddlers because they were really afraid uh, of the, the crazy dogs. So, they, yeah. um, so it was just so, incre- I, it was this incredible experience. What an incredible then, experience. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you keep up with day, that? I mean, uh, they happen every year, World Dog Games? or? Um, yeah, but the next next. I think it's every other year, and next year it's going to be okay. in Argentina. I'm not going to take that flight. That's going to be like two. Wow. That's a long flight. Well, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll nominate Bo. There you go. <laughs> that could work. Yeah. I, of course, I, I would like need a guardian. 
you know, and here's the thing. There's a lot of opportunity to do um, to do great work right here in the United States. Absolutely. Um, this weekend, we're going to do uh, a show at Western University, which is a, a vet school out here. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to work with kids right here in the United States. So, Fantastic. You know, they go to malls all the time and work with kids. I Anytime I see a kid, I'm just a sucker. I stop and exactly. have the kids, have the dogs do high fives. We, we went exactly. to the Blessing of the Animals on Sunday and mm-hmm. um, in downtown Los Angeles, which is... A, How many were there, do you think? I think there were about... 200 dogs. That's incredible. And there's That's a lot a- of nice hotels in downtown Los Angeles that accept dogs. Absolutely. So- there's one more thing. We're almost out of time, but there's one more thing I've, I've been meaning to ask you about. What is Alpha Dog Shopper? What is that? Oh, the Alpha Dog Shopper is my new um, website that's, uh, that's up soon. And what okay. it is is uh, Baldwin Bliss and I are testing out different products and um, we are going to be writing reviews about the products and letting you know before you buy them uh, what we think of them. So Fantastic. Yeah. So Bliss, Bliss and Baldwin approved. Yep. Mm-hmm. Absol- and what's that website going to be? Uh, alphadogshopper.com. Great. And when should that be up? It should be up by May 1st. Okay. So as of the middle of May, people should, should definitely check it out. Right? Yeah, we'll have food. We'll have... Collars and leashes and agility equipment and um, glucosamine that Baldwin uses. And I, I'm always asked about different things, so I decided to put them up on my exactly. on a new website. Will you make them available for sale there as well, or is it just uh-huh. a review? Yeah, you, okay, you can so fantastic. Click on so you can it buy it right there. You can buy it right there, yeah. I love that, that one, one-stop shopping. Mm-hmm. It's so great. Susan, That's thank you so much. on there too, yeah. Who will? The pet flies carriers. Oh, be fantastic! And what about the uh, the dog bag, the bodysuit? I'll have the doggy bag on there. Yep. <laughs> love it. I love it. That's great. Even the name is cute. Doggy bag. I, love I know. It. Isn't that cute? Thank you so much for taking time Thank to talk you. with this us so today. Much fun. It was delightful to have you, and you, you represent so many interesting companies. And if um, if you're a pet-related company that needs public relations representation, I would call Susan uh, or email her. Her website is alphadogpr.com. You're out in L.A., but you, you uh, represent people nationwide, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, that was Susan Hartzler, president of Alpha Dog PR, and I knew she would be a lot of fun to talk to. She uh, really represents some great pet products that are out there on the market. The bags, the fly bags sound really funny and fun, and uh, so check out their website. Thank you for joining us today as we uh, talked about pet products and the travel and hospitality industry. Next time we uh, record a session for you, it will be with um, two different uh, pet-friendly hotel managers, both in Florida. So we're looking forward to that. So check in next time. Thanks so much. This is Janine Franceschi with PAW Pet Friendly Accommodations Worldwide, online at luxurypaw.com. And I've been your host today for Travel Tales for Pet Life Radio. Thanks for joining us. Attention passengers, please fasten your seatbelts, put your seat bags and sleeping pets in their full upright position, and prepare for takeoff. Pet Life Radio presents Travel Tales, the show where you'll get great travel ideas on perfect places for you and your pet. From Paris to paradise, south of the border to the South Seas, Travel Tales will give you cool tips on fun vacation destinations to travel with your pet, pet friendly hotels, and advice on how to travel safely and happily with your furry best friends. So get ready to pack the bags and the bones with Travel Tales every week on demand only on PetLifeRadio.com.